Welcome to our campsite on the shores of beautiful Lake Somerville in our great Lone Star State of Texas. Uh, this lake is situated about midway between the metropolitan areas of Austin and Houston and only about 25 miles from my old undergraduate alma mater, Texas A&M University. Go Aggies! As you can see, it was a gorgeous location right on the shore of the lake. We were camping in early February 2021, so the weather was a bit chilly. Temps were in the mid-50s, but we didn't mind because we had nearly the entire campground to ourselves. We also took our Rad Power e-bikes along with us. Now these bikes are a blast, so much fun. We had planned on using them to explore the lake's namesake, Somerville, which is an adjacent tiny hamlet, only a short one mile ride across the dam. However, our hopes were dashed when we discovered there was some ongoing construction on the dam itself, and so the road to Somerville was closed. We love exploring new places on these bikes, so it was a little bit disappointing. These bikes that we're on today are the Rad Power Mini Step Through Folding Bikes with the three inch fat tires. They are very smooth and stable and transition easily across different terrains. We've used them on packed gravel, dirt, grass, and of course your standard paved roads and sidewalks. We've ridden them all over New Braunfels and Austin and the battery life is impressive. Of course, it does depend on how much battery drain you put on them or whether you only use the throttle, etc. But they are great and we love them. The only downside, and this is a significant one, is that they are very heavy. 63 pounds and I'm not able to load or unload them by myself. Marvin can do it, but I'm not strong enough. I should also mention that they have a wonderful state park out here too, a Lake Somerville State Park and Trailway. This is a wonderful state park with nearly 40 miles of trails. There are two main units, the North Side Birch Creek Unit and the Southwest Side Nails Creek Unit. All of the trails are open to hikers and bikers, but there is one special 13 mile trail that connects both of these two units and is open not only to hikers and bikers, but to horses as well. We tried to stay at this park, but they were completely booked. And I was told that weekends typically book up like five months in advance. Anyway, uh, Lake Somerville is an Army Corps of Engineers lake that is operated by the Brazos River Authority. Its principal purpose is for flood control, but it also serves as a reservoir for irrigation and municipal water, as well as a favorite for recreational use. Construction on this dam began nearly 60 years ago in 1962 and was completed in 1967 when they immediately began impounding water and was open to the public a year later in 1968. I spent many, many fun-filled weekends here with my college buddies back in the 70s. The lake has 85 miles of shoreline. It has an average depth of about 38 feet. There is an abundance of wildlife and you may even catch a glimpse of an alligator. Our campground is called Lake Somerville Marina and Campground. They have 93 RV sites, each with electric and water, a large cement picnic table, small covered shelter area, and a fire pit. There are no sewer hookups, however, there is a dump station at your disposal. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. They also have a full service marina and boat launch, as well as cabins available for rent, not to mention unlimited tent camping. And most of the campground has open views of the lake, as well as stunning views of the sunset. The only downside is that the public showers do not appear to be maintained very well. They appear dirty at the time we visited. Of course, we were self-contained, so this was not an issue to us, but something to be aware of if you're tent camping or there for day use. All in all, I highly recommend this campground if you are in an RV. We would definitely go back. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye now.